Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. Today I am going to be, be making a corn squash bake. Uh, I entered this recipe a few years ago, um, probably in 2012. Uh, I entered into a contest and um, anyway, I didn't win because the contest really was about how many uh, votes you would get through uh, emails and uh, these people knew a lot of people I didn't know a lot of people I got about 215 of my friends and relatives to um, to vote for me but that wasn't enough but anyway long story short um, I made the dish I served it I made it in front of a whole bunch of people and then um, you know after they you know declared the winner um, they, one of the people in the back there came to me and said, I just want to tell you that your food is so good that we could not stop eating it. But despite that, I didn't win. So I'm going to be recreating this today. And some of the, um, some of the ingredients are right here. That's acorn squash. Uh, I usually put Bosque pears in there, but I could not find any, so I got these Bartlets. And then two medium apples, and you want them to be uh, bakeable. So an apple that's going to be good, let's say, in pies or anything else. So um, I think these are Fuji apples, um, and I smelled them. I wanted to make sure that I got something that was um, that smelled good. That means that it was going to be juicy. Now, one of the um, criteria for that contest is that they wanted food that tasted good without any added sugar. So, um, this is what I had created. And there's more ingredients to come, but what I need to do is cut all of these in half, take out all the seeds, put them in a, on a cookie sheet, and then bake them. And once they're cooked, I'll come back and I'll show you that next step. Thank you for watching. Yotas. Hello and welcome to Yotas Kitchen. I just wanted to show you what steps I have taken so far in making this dish. I have uh, cleaned off my uh, pears, so I washed them, and then I took out the center, so all the seeds and the stems and everything. The same thing with my apple all my apples, cut them in half and place them on a parchment paper because it does get a little sticky and I just want to make sure that I have everything in place. Now the acorn, uh, the acorn squash, I usually buy bigger acorn squash so usually I get like two large ones but they didn't have large ones so they had little ones. Uh, so I ended up buying three just to make up uh, for not having the extra large ones. I just wanted to show you one thing. You see this inside of it okay make sure you take all of that out because if you don't even if you puree it sometimes it kinda stays together and it's not gonna break up the way that it should so uh, scrape all that out um, you know all that you'll see it when you open it you'll know exactly what I'm talking about once you take the seeds out it's basically it's basically this this part of it. You know, you want to make sure that you take all of it out. You see that? This is the membrane that's keeping all of it together. Make sure all of that is out of the acorn. Okay, so I'm going to bake this at um, 325 degrees, 300 degrees, not too high, until it's cooked. And I will be back and I'll show you that step. But before I place them in the oven, these are going to go upside down right here and then I'm gonna pierce them with the knife and these are very hard to open so when you're opening these be careful you don't cut yourself okay so take extreme caution so I will be back shortly welcome to Yota's kitchen I just wanted to show you the baked pears apples and acorn squash and I'm just gonna it's still a little hot but I'm just gonna turn it over for you so what I'm getting ready to do is to puree all of this. I'm going to scrape all of the flesh of the acorn out of this, leaving the top layer, and then I am going to put it in my little uh, puree or chopper that you have seen me use before, 
and once I'm all done with that I'm gonna come back and I'll show you what ingredients go in there thank you hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen I just finished pureeing my acorn squash I have the um, pears behind below it and then below the pears I have the apples now I left the skins on them because I wanted the uh, fiber in the skins to be in this because when I made this six years ago I wanted it to be healthy and the spices that I added are uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon half a teaspoon of clove half a teaspoon of nutmeg a fourth of a teaspoon of mace and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt I'm just gonna throw these in there and then I'm also going to add four ounces of cream cheese now, so I have a half a cup of yogurt here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it in really well, and then I am going to taste it. And when I taste it, I'm going to see if I'm missing anything. If I'm missing anything, then I'm going to add. And again, that's only because your vegetables, uh, so the acorn squash, and the size of the apples or pears, uh, change a little bit because every time you make it when you go to the grocery store as, long, as much as you want everything to be the same as before it's not because apples you're gonna pick a different size apple or you're gonna pick a different acorn squash or you know a different size acorn squash or a different size pear for instance um, so you're gonna have to adjust this recipe the spot so I will be back once I have everything blended and I've tasted it and then I'm going to put give you my input if if there's any to give. Thank you for watching. I'll be welcome to you at this kitchen. So I mixed this up. I tasted it. The spices are good. The um, sweetness was almost there. I added uh, a little bit less than a tablespoon of honey to this, and I'm going to mix this up a little bit more before I put it in my pan. I have the oven uh, heated up to 350. I'm going to bake this for a half an hour. So once I get it in the pan, which is going to be a second from now, I am going to stick it in the oven. I'll be back when it's all done. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Yota's Kitchen. I just wanted to show you my acorn um, apple pear bake. And as you see, there are the skins of the pears. Uh, they didn't break down all the way. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to take... Uh, the taste away from this. I tasted it. It tastes wonderful. And I'm going to bake it again, like I said, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like prior to me putting it in the oven. If it happens that you have a few chunks of, let's say, acorn squash or apple, because let's say my pureeer didn't puree everything all together or as well as I wanted to, it doesn't matter because when you're eating it, the other flavors will make up for it. I will be back shortly. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. So I baked my uh, acorn squash um, that has the apples and the pears in it. And this is what it looks like. So it might look a little mushy, and it is, but it tastes wonderful. So I'm just going to put it on a plate. There you go, right there. And then you dress it up with a slice or two of, of your pork loin. And there you go. You have it. It's a beautiful dinner. It tastes wonderful. I hope you try it. Even though it doesn't look like much, once you taste it, you'll think otherwise. Thank you for watching. You're at this kitchen. Have a great day.